let us see the geological background of the formation of our country india how is india formed now let us see what is the meaning of the word geological background see geological background is not like something rocket science it is just simply meaning that geographically how is india formed what is geographically meaning like how was india earlier like what was the collision so happened in the landforms like there are two landmass entire landmass of the world is divided into two major landforms that is angara land and the gondwana land the indian landmass is a part of the gondwana land in the process of its transformation when the earth plates are rotating it got gondwana land got transformed and moved towards the northeastern part and collided the angara land that is the eurasian plate and formed the landmass of india in the gap between the gondwana land and the angara land we have a big sea known as tethys sea this tethys sea got buckled up for millions of years and result of this buckled up and compressed forces which raised the water bodies to a higher level the sea which is in the down level moved up and got buckled up and because it is moving to a higher elevation it got freezed and formed the present day himalayas so himalayas are nothing but a water body which was buckled up with the external force of the earth of the movement of angara land and the gondwana land when they were compressed by the earth plates movements and got buckled up for millions of years not for one day it was millions of years then it formed the himalayas the present day himalayas are so elevated and so cool like so completely covered with the frozen zones is because of this kind of process which happened so many million years ago now from the himalayas we have the origination of various perennial rivers i think we all have an idea like what are the meaning of the word perennial rivers the perennial rivers are the rivers which originate from the himalayas and they never dry up they don't have any summer dry ups or they don't have any break ups because of the lack of rains so the perennial rivers are a continuous flowing rivers throughout the year from jan to december so these rivers like ganga yamuna and brahmaputra have drained they started their journey from himalayas and moved towards the respective lands and while they pass in the journey or the process of journey they carried a lot of mud sand soil everything and make the fill the lands which are empty in the other northern part of himalayas and fill them and made them a fertile lands or plain lands which are very good for cultivation that resulted in the formation of our famous great plains what we are having for us in our northern part of the himalayas then we have the plateaus for us we shall discuss about this in the next part in detail